everyone, it's Heather from Grace on Broadway, and I am a Dixie Belle paint retailer, but I also am on the Bells and Bow Tour. I was one of the founding members with Pam Haskins, and I'm here to talk to you guys about it, but I like to paint and do crafts while I chat, and I'm sure you guys do too. So we're going to, I have a mirror, it's one of the these gold gilded ones. Oh, you can see the my little tripod. And um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this and we're gonna add a transfer while we chat. And we're gonna take it from there. So let me get it where you guys can see what I'm doing, at least a little bit, there we go. And I will scrunch back. Wait. There we go, now I feel like you can see me. Yeah, cause I'm gonna be painting. And then we can chat and you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I am one of the original bows, bells from Dixie Bell. I've been with the company a very long time and I have three premier locations, which means I carry everything. And because I've been there for so long, I'm always looking for different things to do and with my business and everything else. So Pam and I got asked to, oh, this is the new dusty blue color. It's amazing. You guys all should use it. Um, so Pam Haskins and I got asked to be instructors for Dixie Bell's retailers convention this past February. And while we were there promoting it and doing all that stuff, we found out that there was posts and comments from everyone asking for a public convention because there's so much going on for retailers and stuff and they everybody wanted one where just anyone could go to. So we got to talking and decided that we could totally do it. And that's what we're doing. We put together a amazing conference where you get to come and learn all sorts of things. So the instructors for that is myself, Pam Haskins, Dustin Van Fleet, Jude Dodson, Fiona DeBell, Brandy Columborn is our New Jersey special guest, and Chris Donna Cusson is our Atlanta special guest. So we're gonna be in New Jersey on November 3rd, and we're gonna be down in Atlanta in January. So again, I am painting this pretty frame with dusty blue, which is one of Dixie Belle's brandy new colors. And what I did is I just had it nice and clean to begin with. And now I'm going to go ahead and just paint it. I kind of want my this more solid than dry brushed, so I'm going ahead and really getting it in there. I'm using a Dixie Belle mini angled brush. So at the conference, if you choose to come, you're going to get six workshops. It's a full day conference. We wanted to make it one full day instead of two days. This way everybody could go ahead and get back to their lives. Um, but it's one full day from 8 o'clock a.m. until 6 p.m. And the stuff we're going to be going over is stuff like ombre and blending and basic stuff and the wonderful world of whimsy and fabric painting and stenciling. And this is not just for retailers. This is not just for store owners. This is for everybody. We want to teach you all. Okay, so now our, oh, there's my ceiling, but you can also see how pretty the frame is now that it's painted with dusty blue. We can go around and hit the edges. I'm kind of holding on to the back of it Sorry, you're looking at my awful ceiling in my store. Ugly drop ceiling. 
but this is dusty blue. It's quite a pretty color. I want my frame more colored than I want it gold. And if we decide we want some of the gold peeking back out, we can sand it later. And now that it is all painted, at least painted enough. Well, maybe let me hit down here just a little bit. It is Friday, you guys. Who is excited for Friday? I am. Doesn't mean much except for that tomorrow I get to sleep a tiny bit later. But I'm good with that. So we do have early bird specials to the event, which means you get a $25 discount on your ticket and you also get a free t-shirt. New Jersey only has three of those tickets left. Atlanta still has some because it's been newly released. So while my paint is still a smidge wet, oh, that was way more than I wanted, but it's okay. I'm just gonna come back and clean my mirror because I didn't tape it off because I would rather just clean it. It's just easier and faster to go back and wipe it back than it is to take all that time messing around taping it. If it's a great big glass piece, I still don't tape it, and I just get a, uh... oh my goodness, a razor blade, and it gets the paint right up. group doing a bunch of lives the instructors and we're all going to be trying to come in here and teach you guys something as we work okay so now I'm ready for my transfer my mirrors nice and clean it's painted see how fast you can transform stuff with Dixie Belle it's so great so the one I'm going to use, the paint is again, I used dusty blue and the transfer I'm going to use is lavender bush by redesign with Prima. This is all the pieces to it, but we're going to go ahead and cut out just the ones that we want. So with a lot of my stencils, uh, not my stencils, my transfers, I don't always use them how they're meant to be used and I cut them. And then when I'm doing a small project, I go back and I take just what I need. But I remembered that this one, this is a full sheet that I haven't cut yet. And I remembered that this one had this piece. And see how it's kind of curved? So that will be amazing right here at the bottom. So it's the same shape of our mirror. So that's the one we want. So when we decide that this is the piece we want, we're just gonna cut it out. And you don't have to cut right next to the flowers or be so particular, at least not if you're doing the whole section. If you only want one of the flowers, well then, yeah, you have to be a little more careful about how you cut. But I want the whole pattern, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the whole thing. All right, so, let me just check. That's the top, so here's the bottom. Let me see if I can get you where you can see everything a little better without this falling over. Hmm. Yep, there it goes. Okay, you're gonna see me upside down. Sorry. Okay, so this is the transfer that we cut. And see how it has this, the U shape, which is just like the shape right here. So we cleaned our mirror we painted it with dusty blue and now we want to get this to fit. So the most important thing about when you're putting a transfer on a mirror or glass 
is that this is going to stick almost immediately. So you really want to know where you're going to put it before you put it down. So I think I want this one and this to kind of almost touch down here and take up just that bottom part of the mirror. So that's where we're going to go. So now we have our plan. This is the transfer. This is the wax paper on the back of transfers. We don't need this. But only take this off when you're 100% ready to go. So now this side is extremely sticky. This side is the side we're going to see. This side is super sticky. So you want to line it up but above where you are. You can't put it down and then move it. You want to line it up from like the air. So, let's see. That uh, looks about right. So I put it down in the center and then I'm gonna push out from there. And then I'm gonna push down from here. Try to make sure that we're not getting air bubbles and that kind of stuff. So now this is down. Now that this is down, if you wanna move it, you have to essentially, you can't. You just need to, this is where it is. If you move it, you're gonna rip it all. If you pick it up from one corner and just pull it back fast, you're gonna rip it all. So this is where patience comes in. It's a little easier on glass, this part, than it is on furniture. I am just rubbing it right now. Oh, there's my stick. Okay. These are the sticks that come with them. And you're gonna just make sure you're really rubbing it on. These remind me of the uh, tattoos like my kids used to have. I ended up with an air bubble, but that's okay. We're just gonna pull the air bubble to the edge and it'll go away. See, it's already gone. So you're just gonna varnish this on good. And again, this transfer is Lavender Bush by Redesign with Prima. And this color is uh, Dusty Blue by Dixie Belle. So now, once you've rubbed it on pretty good, you can pick a corner and you're gonna slowly pull it up. Because then, if it starts to pick up, you can kind of push your wax paper back down and rub it again. So you wanna go slow, just to make sure that you have it all. They stick really fast and really well to glass, so this tends to be an easier process than when you do it on furniture. It's not difficult on furniture, it's just that the transfers really, really, really adhere quickly to glass and mirrors. And then I just rub that one back down. And now we have this beautiful flower image on our mirror. And that's gonna be there on there permanently. So we can choose to add another one up top. I think we should do just like I have, um, where was it? Oh, here it is. There's this super tiny one right here. And I think that would look cute just at the top. So I'm gonna cut that out and do the same thing. So here's the transfer again. Here's that wax paper. We're gonna line it up with the paper on it to decide where we would like it. Let me kind of move this so you can see the top. There we go. So we're gonna line this up where we want it. 
I think I want it like that. That looks pretty good with the bottom. Now I'm going to take this off and we're going to remember that once this is off and gone, this is super sticky and we have, we cannot fix it. So we want to take our time. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it by a spot that does not have design. And we're going to double check kind of where we're at and then we're going to put it down. And we're going to rub it on. And then we're going to take our little wooden tool. They have plastic ones too, but I like to show you guys these because this is what comes with it for free. And we're going to rub right over the transfer again. We want to really give it good adhesion. So Dixie Bell and Redesign with Prima are two of our sponsors. So these are some of the products that we will have at the conference. So see, if you start to pull it up and it's not stuck, what you're going to do is just put it down and rub again. And that's why you want to pull it up slower than fast. It's a, a game of patience at this point. And there you go. So you guys are going to see my little thing up. Oh, you're going to see my ceiling. But there's our cute mirror. So we took a plain mirror that I've had laying around forever. And we were able to paint it a really pretty color. This new dusty blue. And add some florals. So now it's a nice decorative piece. I will go ahead and I'm looking at it. And I think I want to just kind of, I didn't even put any more paint on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and just dry brush a couple areas that either didn't get a good swipe the first time or got banged around before they were dry because they just kept going since we were live. I just need a smidge more paint. And then I can take back some of the paint maybe around here and let some of the gold come through. I just like to start that with all the coverage. Any of the paint I'm getting on here again, again, I can either wipe it back or I can um, take a razor blade. Normally, I try to make sure that the frame is 100% good before I start adding transfers. But sometimes when we're live, I kind of rush stuff along because I want to make sure I get everything in for you guys in a shorter amount of time. So I do my steps a little weird. But I don't think there's any hard rules to creating stuff, so sometimes steps can be done different. So I will wipe that back. But now that I'm rushing this, I'm making a big old mess because I'm not letting the paint dry. So I will clean it perfect once the paint is all dry. Does anyone have any questions? I saw a couple of you here and there on, well, if you're watching this later, 
I have no problem going in after the replay and answering questions. I can, hold on one second, I'll come back to you guys. Let me move my camera thing up and over. Hi, there I am. So, if you watch this later on the replay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in links to the conference in case you're interested in that and you have questions on that. Or if you have any questions about Dixie Bell or the transfers or the process that we just did, please feel free to leave questions um, and I will go back in and answer all the questions and comments. Again, my name is Heather. I am from Grace on Broadway, which is in Pennsylvania. I have three locations plus uh, our website and all sorts of fun stuff. We, we do a lot. I love Dixie Bell and Prima. Our show sponsors are Redesign with Prima, Dixie Bell, Sinopoly, D Lawless Hardware, and Surf Prep. So those are all the things that we're talking about and working with and, and wanting you guys to understand um, and use because they're all amazing and they, they all have their own purpose. So I appreciate you taking the time to be with me. Um, this is our fun mirror. I'm going to go back and clean it a little bit more, but now that's super cute, right? We're in the part of my store where I keep all the pieces that are about to get painted. So that's what you guys got to see in the mirror. All right. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And I, I believe tomorrow Pam is going to be on here at three o'clock. So three o'clock every day for a week, you guys are going to get an instructor. Talk to you soon. Bye.